will sing a new song to our Lord. He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory. The Lord displayed his saving grace and truth and constancy. He has revealed his justice and strength for all to see. Oh, sing a new song to our Lord. He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory. Give glory to our loving God, the Father and the Son, and also to the paraclete, eternal three in one. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as we gather here to receive his blessings and his grace upon us, let us all acknowledge all our sins and all our failures. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, uh -huh. 
let us pray almighty and ever living god <clears throat> constantly accomplish the paschal mystery within us that those you were playing please to make a new in new in the holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit gone forever and ever amen A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles, and he reported to them how he had seen the Lord and that he had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The word of the Lord. fulfill my vows before those who fear the Lord. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise Him. May your hearts live forever. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. And to him my soul shall live. My descendants shall so serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what he pleases, what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true wine, and my father is the wine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bad fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears much fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own, unless it remains on the wine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remains in you, Ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Morning. Morning, Father. Morning, Father. Today, 
me and brother john paul have planned to have for you two homilies or you are prepared for to have two homilies <laughs> thank you i will not it will be there so i will be making myself as short as i could be for you so that brother will have a lot of time to spend with you speak about annual catholic appeal which is very essential for our diocese to take care of many ministry that takes place within our diocese for many many different activities as for my short homily we have in the gospel very powerful direct saying i am the wine and you are the branches so christ says very clearly i am the wine and you are all it branches we know our state is filled with a lot of trees not like my state where i am coming from where little trees are available so we know the relationship a branch with a tree any branches they are attached to a tree they have a long life and that is nothing happens to the branch once due to many different circumstances like a wind heavy wind or whatever may be the one when the branches are broken or away from the tree the gospel says very clearly they would be gathered together thrown into the fire which is a fact into our self also and god the father says very clearly this implication into our self i am the tree and you are the branches when you are all with me my sons and daughters i will protect you with my god in angels i will protect you that nothing happens to you nothing will affect you no evil would destroy you no evil would affect you if you are with me and he also says another explanation wonderfully your energy is not sufficient to stand against all the evil and evil activity happens in the world and around you if you want to defend the evil if you want to have a happy life without any evil happening in you or evil activity happening in you remain in me because i have a blessings for you prepared and there is a place for you prepared in heavenly kingdom if you are with me if you remain in me you all will be reaching heavenly blessings if you are away from me we know very clearly what is going to happen the tree away from the branches thrown into the fire we also will be going to such kind of difficulty let us not choose to suffer those kind of painful agony rather a simple activity do our daily prayers give ourselves completely with god the father with this i do remain and welcome brother john paul to speak about and well catholic appeal welcome brother thank you father and good morning morning pardon me got all sorts of technology hiccups today. <laughs> so I'm really struck by this weekend's gospel of the vine and the branches because it tells me that if I want to live, I have to remain in Jesus. And it also tells me that if I'm going to do that, I have to stay connected with the branches of the vine, that's all of you, the whole church. And that's what the church is. It's the community of the faithful rooted in Jesus Christ. If you look at a grapevine closely, you'll see it has a kind of structure to it, and the church isn't any different. We're connected to Jesus, the vine, but we're connected to each other as well within a structure of relationships, a sort of network. And so just as Jesus spread his arms out on the cross, the grapevine of the church spreads its branches out all over the world. And for us, that vine begins here at St. Anthony's. 
It extends throughout all the Archdiocese of Seattle, Western Washington, and beyond to the rest of the world. So today we have a chance to consider our responsibility to the wider church in Western Washington, the Archdiocese of Seattle. In a lot of ways, my job today is pretty easy because I know that this parish is deeply committed to the mission of the local church. If nothing else from the fact that two men from this parish, fathers uh, Ben Bray and Louis Cunningham, in recent years have been ordained. And I know there are more on the way. So I know that throughout their time in seminary, you supported them by your generosity and your prayers. And also, I've known from my own personal experience just how warmly you've accepted me. This parish has been a sort of seminary for me where I've learned and grown, I hope, to be able to, to serve the, the people of this archdiocese better in the future, God willing. So I know you're committed to seminarian formation, at least, and also to the mission of the local church. And thank you so much for your support. For me, it's something that I feel personally. Seminary information wouldn't be possible without your prayers and generosity, and particularly the generosity you provide through the annual Catholic appeal each year. This appeal accounts for a, more than a third of the archdiocese's annual unrestricted income. So with the funds raised through it, the Archdiocese is able to support more than 60 ministries and services throughout Western Washington. And you might be surprised at just how closely some of these ministries touch our lives, touch the lives of ordinary Catholics in the pews, just like you. Because of this appeal, the Archdiocese can support Catholic schools. And, well, we've got one of those here. I went to a Catholic school, Seton Catholic, in Vancouver. It was supported by these funds. Also, archdiocesan youth programs and CYO camps are funded through this appeal. And I've seen firsthand the kind of growth and healing that can occur through our annual Catholic Youth Convention and through a deeply and truly Catholic summer camping experience. I remember one particularly moving evening while I was working at Camp Hamilton, one of our CYO camps. It had been a long day during high school week, and we were waiting for a priest to arrive to hear the confessions of our high school campers. Um, as can often happen, he was delayed significantly. And so in the meantime, we prayed with the Blessed Sacrament, and our dedicated and deeply religious camp staff uh, it provided music, formed prayer teams, and then when the priest did arrive, he generously sat for about two hours to hear confessions. So I know that I saw a lot of healing happening that night, and none of that would have been possible without your support through the annual Catholic Appeal, so thank you for that. Our parish's goal this year is $116,714. And anything beyond that will be returned to the parish in, a, in the form of a rebate, which we'll be using for some well-needed technological improvements. Uh, if you've been tuning into our daily mass live stream, or if you're aware of the fact that currently our internet's down, you might know what uh, I'm talking about when I say well-needed. And my deepest apologies to any of your loved ones who weren't able to attend mass today because of our poor internet. <laughs> So last year, this parish surpassed its goal and got a rebate of $35,000 that went to general parish needs, and that's impressive. I bet we can do that again. And if you gave last year, praise God, thank you. We're asking you to prayerfully consider maybe giving 5% more. If this is your first time giving, also praise God and thank you. And we'd suggest maybe giving even $1 a day. That's about $365, actually exactly $365 for the year. That's good math. Whenever you, whatever you give, however small or large, please know that it helps. And the thing that helps the most are your prayers. So thank you for your prayers and support once again. And together, let's remain in Jesus and allow him to remain in us so that we can bear much fruit for the glory of God the Father.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We give thanks to the Lord because He is good. United in the joy of the resurrection, let us turn to the Father with our prayers. For the church, that she may be at peace, being built up and walking in the fear of the Lord, and enjoying the consolation of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Long that God may raise up for the nations impassioned souls like Saul, who will speak up boldly for the cause of life, justice, and morality in the world today. We pray to the Lord. Long hear our prayers. For all of us, branches on the Lord's vine, that we may remain firmly united to him in faith and love, and glorify the Father with an abundant fruit of holiness, we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayers. that we may love, not just in word or speech, but in deed and in truth, thus reassuring our hearts in confidence before our Heavenly Father. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayers. for our faith community, that we may follow God's commandment to love one another, in our support of the ministries and services funded by the annual Catholic Appeal, we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayers, that we may always stand in defense of life from conception until natural death. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayers, for vocations that many may accept the testimony of Jesus deep in their hearts and give themselves to him in life and death through the vocations of priesthood, consecrated life, and holy matrimony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are being pruned through sickness, poverty, or grief, that our loving prayers may support them till the Lord brings forth in their lives an increased yield of joy and grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who sleep in the earth, our faithful departed ones, that their souls may live exultantly before the face of the Lord in his glorious kingdom, especially for George Venias and Silo Diaz. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let's all pray for all our personal intention to remain with him with his gracious blessings. Pray for ourselves in silence. We pray to the Lord. Holy Mary, 
we come before you as spiritual children in great need seeking your intercession and asking that your mantle of love surround us to console protect and lead us to your son jesus we entrust all of god's family especially the church in western washington into your immaculate hands with your son jesus gentle power you can undo any knot in our church and in the lives of the believers who entrust themselves to your care today i especially interest to you all those who are suffering and affected by this virus and all the people those who lost their life in this season of pandemic and i ask that through your intercession and that of saint james our guardian angels and the faithful in our diocese we may be free from every spiritual and temporal ill and be safely led to encounter your son's merciful sacred heart our lady mc antel and doer of non prayers let us love one another as we share this true living bread jesus is our god and our brother with his flesh and blood we are fed everyone who loves is born of god jesus is our life God is love We who break this bread are one body We who share this cup are all one Children of our Father in heaven We are heirs with God's only Son Everyone who loves is born of God Jesus is our life God is love We who eat and drink at this table die and rise again with our Lord drawing from a rock living water given to all who thirst for a cord Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life, God is love. On the path of life we may falter, earthly food and gain with the Lord. Drawing from our rock living water, hungry to their souls food must seek everyone who loves is born of god jesus is our life god is love we tend grape in corn in a mystery jesus is the true living bread Let us eat with joy and give thanksgiving trusting in the word he has said everyone who loves is born of God Jesus is our life God is love Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. And the praise of the Lord is to be for our good and of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice <clears throat> have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. grand we pray that 
as we have come to know your truth may we make it ours by a worthy way of life through christ our lord amen the lord be with you lift up your hearts lift the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god in his right hand just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you alone but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our passover has been sacrificed through him the children of light raised to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his raising the life of all has risen therefore overcome the paschal joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy holy Are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather your people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. by the same spirit grace is to make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me." The mystery of faith
Poor world Lord has been celebrated the memorial of the saving passion of your son. He is wonder as a resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make up as an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect. Especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostle and glorious martyrs, with Saint Anthony, our heavenly patron, and with all the saints and whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, a Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, the honor of the bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people, you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, are their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the word all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us not, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said here, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you all. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever reigns in me, and I in him, bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. This bread I 
give to you that you may never die. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace. One church, one people, one love released. No one will come to me unless our God has led. And I shall raise them up, raise them from the dead. One bread, one body. One cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one peace, one peace, one church, one people.
let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Is there anyone of us in need of this annual, which is all about annual Catholic appeal? Anyone likes to receive this envelope, please raise your hands. We will be able to provide you. The ashes can bring some envelope and give to the day. As brother, you can bring the envelope here. As brother John Paul has given a very wonderful presentation about annual Catholic appeal and his, its essential. And we have given wonderfully last year. So all those who have given for this wonderful contribution, we thank every one of you and we also request you to do the same and think about the increasing at least the five percentage which is very essential for our diocese for many different purposes as christ says this is another chance to remain in him give whatever we have sufficiently then we will be given back from him now the ashes will come down those who have prepared yourself <coughs> You are free to give your contribution now as they come for the collection. And those who want to think about it still more, you can have this envelope within you and take back home. And you can spend the days to come, reflect about it in prayer about this giving to the diocese. And you can bring it back in two weeks term. So now those who are prepared, you can give as they come for the collections. And those who want to have some more time, you can keep it with you. Think about it and pray about giving to this annual Catholic appeal. Let's thank Brother John Paul for his wonderful presentation. Brother, thank you, brother. Thanks to all those who are given your contribution for this annual Catholic appeal. And we also pray with you those who still need time to pray and decide about this decision of giving yourself to the annual Catholic appeal. Today at 7.30 p.m. we have Holy Hour. And this Friday we have Mass at 7.30 p.m. Followed by Notorial Adoration until 7 a.m. Saturday which also followed by morning prayer and the mass. Make use this prayerful opportunity for you. Pray and try to remain in God the Father. Thus you will be able to be away from all the evil temptations. May God bless and strengthen us. Stand for a final blessing. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless and strengthen you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Be good. Be joyful, Mary, Heavenly Queen, be joyful, Mary, your Son. Rejoice, O Mary, the Son you bore by 
by heaven's grace be joyful, Mary. Did all our guilt and sin efface, alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mary. The Lord has risen from the dead, be joyful, Mary. He rose with might as he had said, alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mary.